How's everybody doing? Welcome to the Free Wolf Fixer Shop. Spike here in equipment today. Today we're cutting out a guitar. Going today for a quick little look and see what I'm working on right now. That one there's maple and black walnut. That's what the guitar is made out of. Maple and black walnut. So uh, that's what that one's gonna be. And this is the one I done. I'm gonna mess with all the uh, toss 222. So I can take a piano and I toss about 222 strings worth of it and uh, use the wood and six strings and make a yeah make the guitar. So hey, this is what we got going. This is the one I just cut out. We're going to be painting this one because naturally it doesn't have a finish if you put a wood finish on. Um, we're going to cut this one out and finish it up so uh, you get an idea of what it's doing and uh, how it's running. If you got an MPC and C machine, you can see that they do work really well. It made uh, this aluminum block set my zoo axis with all wind and it's made all kind of nice things so uh yeah i'm really happy with what it does for me so anyway guys just wanted to drop in and give you a quick little update on what i got going tonight some ideas i picked up from some really good youtubers that, that gave me some ideas chris from highline guitars brother i'm gonna have to let you know you've been an inspiration to this old brain you just did not believe what you've done for me so thank you a lot and thanks to the rest of you. I mean, that's a reworked my little clamps again, and I brought some additions to add to the clamps to make them work a little better, I think. So let's see how that works, too. Okay, what we got is I've got a piece of Unistrut. And I got a block of wood that's stuck in it. So I've got a bolt, a piece of Unistrut, goes down in this piece of Unistrut here. And you just drop the, the peg in there. Same on this side. Here's little blocks of wood. They go inside and they keep it from rocking when you lock it together. So I'll show you what it does. This end over here, what I did is I made this block of wood with a little bushing in it. One inch, a three quarter bolt with a nut. I drilled through it, threaded it with a three eighth tap. So that makes an adjuster to where I can put pressure on this to put pressure on it. So, what we do is we put that right there. We drop that one in that hole right there and it'll be ready. Now, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and make everything up and glue it. And then after I get it all made up, we'll, we'll slide it in here and put it together right quick, okay? So, let's see how this goes. See if I can get it all figured out right quick. So let's put some wood together. If you're gonna do this, you always use your pinky finger. You know why? Because as sure as the world's a phone rings or something, you're gonna have to go get it. And if you only cover your pinky finger with glue, well, you can still go into your telephone. So. Need to make those little adjuster holes in there a little bit bigger, something to go to. shooting out through all the cracks and crevices. Check it out. Pretty good push 
All the seams seem to be really pushed together good here. Got a lot of nice glue push out. Same on the top. I think I might throw another extra clamp on the top so it'll be safe. Put one right in the center. I'm gonna make another one of these. I only made two, but I'm definitely gonna make some more. I figured I'd put it on for safety. The thing looks pretty darn good. All nice and square and straight. Yep. I think we got her, folks. We're ready to trim the final size. And Okay. So... Get to trim that down to final size tomorrow after the glue sets up and uh, spin it around, chop it up a little bit on the edges, true it up, put it on the CNC machine and make another guitar. And uh, don't think I hadn't thought about next because I have. I got a stack of maple over there and I'm fixing to start learning to make next. So that's the next thing coming. So anyway, we'll get some good bodies out. Then we'll start on some necks. We'll get it all done. Eventually, we'll cut some fingerboards, too. I think my clamps are a success, I have to say. They sure feel like a Rennie on their tie. So, hey, that's the best I can hope for. All we got is... We made this up last night. Glued all our wood up in it. Let's take the big clamp off first. Let's take this off. This was just like a secondary thought here I put on last night. For anybody that's wondered about that part, so we move this back, set it over here out of the way on the table. We'll take out a regular old little ratchet right here and back off on this. The block's got a little insert in it. I don't know if y'all see that or not. We're gonna break this one loose right here a little bit, take it off. I just loosened those up is all I did. Now I'm just gonna take this and wiggle it and lift it off. Out of the way. Wiggle this one around right here a little bit. Bring it off. And then we got wood right there in the way. That one's okay, but this one's stuck. Simple as that. I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with the way that thing tightened that up. It is really, really tight. Got a couple little bumps on it. You know, I think I'm gonna try out the new, the new plane here. See what it does with this little bump here. See what that does. Wow. Hey man, that ain't bad. Got a little bump right there. Oh yeah. That side there is real nice. It's ready to go on the CNC man right there. Can't go wrong on that. I'm gonna show you the top on this one that I done yesterday. Check this out. Now that's a top. It's going to be glued on to what that one's going to be. So it's going on to a base. You got to put a piece of inch and a quarter wood behind that. So I got to find something to put it behind it. So that's where that one's going. Uh, this is from Fugal Fixer Spike. He says, question, can you imagine using nothing but a CNC and sandpaper to build? That's my build. I was doing the neck too, but burned down the shop and CNC. Holy crap. Um, Frugal Fix a Spike, please send me an email to stream at crimsonguitars.com and, uh, and tell me the story of that. And uh, 
yeah, let me know if there's any way that we can help. That sounds monumentally shitty. Okay, this is it. Um, I'm out of the hospital. I'm okay. My CO2 levels back to down where it's supposed to be. Um, got a little singed hair on my head, and uh, I'm an idiot for going in the house. Shouldn't have went back in the garage and tried to do anything. Should have just waited on the fire department, but I'm an idiot. So I'll take the blame for that. We'll give you a little tour of what's all going on and what's gone. It's not good. Not good at all. Talk later. Well, I guess we can start here. This is my garage door. That's my piano. Let's go in, look around. It's gonna be dark in here, so y'all just have to deal with the light. I'm doing the best I can do to get you some light. Here's big girl. Big girl's fine. It's singed a little bit. It's got some soot on it. It needs cleaning up, but she'll be fine. The mold, I got a mold on it for that new, new my thing right now. It's still good. All my other machinery's pretty much, I don't know. I'm thinking a lot of it's toast. Um, I'm 900% sure that 12 inch band saw's gone. Um, to give y'all an idea of what's going on and just look at the area, the height of where the damage is. And if you watch that angle right there, I want you to look around the room and see that everything from this point up in this garage, and there's a lot, I mean, a lot of stuff on the shelves, but everything from here up, I mean, all of it's, everything up there's gone. It's all just melted. This may be the craziest thing of the whole thing. These guitars I've been working on, that I learned to work on, for some reason they don't have any fire around them. And the wall's not dark. Don't ask me, I don't know. I, for the hell of me, can't figure that out. Um, the CNC machine is pretty toasty. And it looks like, uh, yeah, pretty major, major repair, if not total loss on this corner of it back here. That's the electrical outlet that the, stove, that the oven was plugged into right there. Um, it burned up everything in this corner. Went up into the ceiling, got up into the attic, burned up the wires from a security system. Got the plastic container on top of the freezer, and it just so you'll know exactly what height we're talking about here. You see that blob of plastic right there? That blob of plastic is even with my nose, and my stupid ass was in here walking around trying to put this fire out. Oh man, some things you do. Here's the the culprit. It's just a plain old stove like anybody has in their house. And you have these electronic section here where you do the timers and turn on the ovens and stuff. And you have these controls where you turn on the eyes. Well, they're all gone, all that melted away. And here's all the eyes here. They're still there, they were fine. Um, I started the oven up and uh, turned it on, hit the start button, I walked in the house and Within two minutes, the garage was ablaze. Here's a, somebody's ready roady go work stand that I had built. There's the, the pads for it that you know, the guitar set on. There's the brace piece that the guitar sits on. The wooden stalk for it, I guess that'd be it right, right here. It looks like it right there. That's $250 gone. Looks like the planer made it through okay, but definitely lost the bandsaw. Don't know about the others till we check them. I mean, with all this soot, I don't even know if they'll run anymore. Yep, it's pretty bad, guys. I'm gonna pull all my eBay ads off, and all my Etsy ads, and uh, my website's not running it. I'll shut it back. And uh, when I get back on my feet, Me and the big girl to make y'all some parts, guys. Okay, that's the idea of what's happening in the world in the shop over here. Things will get better. Don't worry. We'll let it dry and dust that sucker. You know what you know, secret to everything is? Watch it on YouTube. Y'all know that. Hey, 
Come see me. Subscribe. I welcome you anytime to the Frugal Fixer Shop, guys. Always welcome to the Frugal Fixer Shop. We'll talk to y'all later.